VMware provides many options to upgrade to vCenter Server 8.0. This is the overview of vCenter Server upgrade tasks. This lab session will discuss how to update vCenter server using graphical user interface installer. This is a two-stage process. In stage 1, VMware deploys a new vCenter server with version 8. In the second stage, copy configurations and data from the old vCenter server to the newly deployed vCenter server. This is today's lab setup. Management PC IP address is 192.168.1.11 and DNS server IP address is 192.168.1.10. The lab setup has three ESXi hosts. vCenter is installed on ESXi1 and vCenter IP address is 192.168.1.23. As a precaution in case of failure, you need a backup of the vCenter server appliance. Before you update the vCenter server appliance, you must verify that the IP address has a valid internal domain name system registration. I will use 192.168.1.55 as a temporary IP address. You can download the VMware vCenter Server Appliance Update file from customerconnect.vmware.com. Please refer link in the description. Welcome to Global Technology Options Knowledge Sharing Sessions. Let's join with the screencast. This is the existing vCenter server running with VMware 7.0 U3. Before starting, need to verify the health status of the vCenter server appliance. This is my management PC. Mount the downloaded ISO and run the installer file inside the Win32 folder. Installer application is executed and provides four options. Select the Upgrade tab to start the update of an existing vCenter server appliance that is based on a Linux Photon OS. Read the information about upgrading to vCenter 8 and click Next to continue. Read the license agreement and select the checkbox to accept the end user license agreement. In this interface, enter the IP address of the existing vCenter server appliance and click Connect to Source button. We have successfully connected to the existing vCenter server appliance. 
Now provide the credentials for vCenter server appliance that you want to upgrade. This is the details about the ESXi host that manages the existing vCenter appliance. When a certificate warning is displayed, click Yes to continue. In this interface, specify the vCenter server deployment target settings. Enter the IP address of the ESXi host on which you want to run vCenter 8 after the upgrade. Then enter root credentials of the ESXi host. Specify the VM settings for the vCenter server to be deployed. In my lab, I will name the new vCenter as GTO, new. In this interface, you can select the deployment size. In this environment, I will select Tiny in the deployment size options. Select a data store that has enough free space on the target ESXi host. Select the Enable Thin Disk Mode checkbox to use thin provisioning for virtual disks of VCSA. This interface defines network settings for the vCenter server appliance. In this step, you need a temporary IP address. A new vCenter 8 VM will be deployed during the vCenter upgrade process and a temporary IP address will be used for this VM until the upgrade process is completed. Review your settings before starting the vCenter server deployment. If everything is correct, click Finish. The vCenter 8 deployment process is started. Wait until the installation process is completed. You cannot resume installation after interruption. You have successfully deployed the vCenter server. Read the comments about the second stage. Click Next to continue. Pre-upgrade checks are in progress. If there are non-critical warnings, you can skip them. In this interface, you can select the data that you want to copy from the old vCenter server to the new vCenter server. I will select the first option to copy the configuration from the source vCenter server. You can leave the checkbox unselected if you don't want to send statistics and other information to VMware. Check your settings and click Finish to complete Stage 2. In this stage, 
VMware reminds that you need to take a vCenter backup for any case of failure. Wait until all needed data is copied to vCenter 8. Congratulations! You have successfully completed the vCenter server installation. You can verify using vCenter web interface and the VMware appliance management interface. Let's meet with another session next time. Watch like and subscribe to my channel and facebook page for more exciting sessions